So Mobile 1G revolutionized the telephone industry, making our phones mobile for the first time, but with a lot of limitations. Too expensive, too heavy, and worst of all, only supporting a limited number of users due to inefficient use of spectrum. 1G was mostly for those early adopters. 2G changed all that and brought mobile phones to the masses. How? The answer was a bunch of ones and zeros. With advanced digital technologies, mobile 2G overcame the limitations of 1G to deliver phones to more people in more places. In fact, at its peak, there were around 5 billion mobile 2G connections worldwide. Amazing! First, digital technologies enabled more efficient use of the spectrum. And as an added bonus, digital components are lighter and less expensive, which led to more user-friendly phones. In the analogy, 1G had small homes with large distances between them and an inefficient delivery service, delivering voice shipments to only one person per home. With 2G, we compress that voice and put it into packages, providing delivery to more than one person per home. This was great, but we still had all that wasted land. Next came a revolutionary digital technology called CDMA. CDMA was the breakthrough that allowed carriers to use all of the available frequency. Basically, each call or transmission could now be coded in a unique way so that one call wouldn't disrupt another. It was like replacing all those homes and empty spaces with a large apartment building and giving every person in the building a unique delivery address. Many more could live in the same building and still get the right package, or in our world, many more mobile phones could use the same frequency and still make a call without interference. In fact, 2G CDMA technologies delivered over 10 times the capacity of 1G, so with the same spectrum or land, you could support over 10 times the users incredible progress. But it wasn't perfect. Yes, 2G could deliver more voice packages to more people, but the delivery was optimized for relatively small voice packages. So even when demand for data started to grow, 2G could only really deliver it in very small doses like text messages. But the internet and mobile phones continued to improve. People everywhere developed an insatiable appetite for data, yet didn't have the mobile technology to deliver what they wanted. 3G changed all of that, and that's what we're going to talk about next. But before we do, 1G, big breakthrough, but also big phones and very inefficient use of spectrum, limiting the growth of mobile. 2G, far more efficient use of spectrum, digital information, plus smaller and cheaper devices bring mobile calls to the masses. Welcome to the digital age. 3G, next up. You may not hear a lot about 1G and 2G technologies anymore since they were invented over 20 years ago, but these innovations set the foundation for mobile 3G and 4G technologies and understanding them will make you far more capable at understanding the why and how of mobile 3G and 4G.